Good morning. Today is Wednesday, April 8th, 2020. Yesterday was the full moon in April. Did anybody see it last night? I stayed up. The prime or the fullest point of the moon was supposed to be around 9.35. And so I made a point to go outside and check it out. It was just beautiful. It really lit up a lot of the sky. And the view that I had of it, it was right between branches of a tree. So it had a really cool look, through, look to it. I thought it was interesting that this April full moon is called the pink moon. And it really had me wondering why that was. The moon didn't look pink. It looked white like it always typically does. Sometimes it looks orangey. Uh, but today, last night, it looked white. So why do they call it a pink moon? So I did a bit of research and I came across that it's called the pink moon because it's named after an early blooming flower uh, called the phlox. And I thought that was kind of interesting because I have phlox in my yard and they've not bloomed yet. Maybe they're about to bloom, so I'll be eagerly awaiting. They're small little pink flowers. Um, and the greens are actually evergreen. It's pretty interesting. Anyways, um, it can also be called the sprouting grass moon because a lot of grasses are growing and spring is coming. Uh, it can be called the egg moon or the fish moon, depending on where you are. So here we call it the pink moon. So that also had me thinking about the different phases of the moon. So back when a few, many weeks ago now, we went to the library and got a whole bunch of books for Hayden. And one of them was actually about the moon. It's called Moon, Earth's Best Friend. So it's written in a really child-friendly way. Uh, but what I thought would be useful to share with you guys is the different phases of the moon. So we were just at our full moon. And next we'll be getting to our waning gibbous last quarter, waning crescent, and then the new moon when the moon is not in the sky. Well, it's still there, but we don't see it because of shadows. Um, the waxing crescent, the first quarter, and the waxing gibbous. So I've heard these terms before, but I never really understood why. I'm familiar with the concept of waxing meaning to grow, um, and in this case, it means growing from the new moon towards the full moon. And I've heard of waning meaning to decrease. But who's gibbous? Have you ever wondered? Maybe you've not heard the different phases of the moon before. I was wondering, is gibbous a person? What does it mean? And so I did a little bit more research and I came across that Gibbous means convex or rounded, and it comes from the Latin word gibbosus, which means humpbacked. So I thought that was pretty interesting uh, that terms from long ago are still what we use today to describe uh, the different phases of the moon. So uh, I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget uh, if you're able, join us at 2 o'clock is our Zoom meeting. We'll be sending out some guidelines. Uh, remember, when we have our Zoom meeting, be prepared to share out something that you, well, one, how you're doing, some activity maybe that you've done with your family to help make this time enjoyable, and then also share something that you've worked on. If you don't have anything that you want to share, that's fine. I have a few things I've been working on that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. Um, a couple that I'm pretty proud of. I've taught myself to do some new things. So I look forward to seeing your faces, many of you today, and I'll see you tomorrow as well on our next morning meeting. meeting. All right. Have a good day. Bye.